Yowza! Michael, that one's for you. And uh, guess who uh, got a selfie stick for Father's Day? Yep. Um, okay, today, uh, for Top Tip Tuesdays, um, here's a very, very quick, uh, quick, easy tip uh, to check the state of your listening environment. Uh, very simple check. Uh, here's how to do it. Okay, so this is a, a very basic video. It'll show you how to create a sine wave sweep in Cubase. Um, so what's this useful for? Uh, this is useful. Uh, it's, it's handy to know the limitations of your listening environment uh, if, you are, if you are making music. Um, pro recording studios spend a lot of money on room acoustics to get an accurate listening environment. So in an, in an untreated room, uh, you will no doubt have peaks and nulls in the frequency spectrum. And just being aware of where these are can really help with judging certain elements of a mix. Um, so to do this sine wave sweep in Cubase, if we load in um, this plugin into an audio channel called Test Generator, um, and let's open up the automation lanes and choose Frequency. Um, and let's just do let's create the frequency sweep here. Um, let's go across three minutes. Uh, from, from about 20 hertz upwards um, and if you hit play um, you'll see the frequencies going up here so as this scans up the frequency range keep your ears open for any peaks or nulls um, this, these are useful to know uh, because say for example if you know, your listening position, if you've got a, a gap in the frequencies between 80 and 110 hertz where the, the frequencies are cancelling out, you're not hearing them properly, that tells you that if you're mixing sounds in that area, don't rely on what you're hearing at the uh, at the mix position. Um, stick on a pair of headphones, get your room out of the equation. It's a quick, cheap, temporary fix. Uh, you might also find just simply moving your listening position back a couple of feet or a couple of inches. Um, them couple of inches can make all the difference. Um, so, yeah, like I say, just being aware of what frequencies uh, may be causing you problems in your room could really help you with judging certain elements of your mix um, uh, a lot better. But just for now, um, that is a very, very quick, simple way to uh, run a sine wave sweeping Cubase. Um, and you can mega roughly by ear just gauge uh, the, the state of your listen environment. I um, hope some people find that useful. See you next week.